Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hamfrax channel where I am back again. I thought I'd come back to uh, do another video. Hopefully get the last two subscribers I need to reach that 100 subscriber mark. I don't, you know, I, I, I can't really use that for anything. And uh, most of my subscribers, I don't think, watch my videos. Most people, I think, just find it on Google or, you know, by, on the YouTube search page. But hey, it's a number, and I like number go up, make me feel good, okay? So uh, please do press that button if you, if, you, if, you, if you haven't got anything better to do. Right now, I am going outside of my comfort zone. Well, sort of. I am a Viking, of course, uh, from the frozen Nordic land of, of Denmark, but this still is outside my comfort zone. I am playing GeoGuessr again, of course, as you can see, and it's special map called Arctic Lands, which I have already played once, I gotten, well, not a decent score, a decent score compared to some of the challenges that are located inside it. Uh, this map contains the, the, the Arctic Circle, which means like Svalbard, Greenland, maybe Iceland, I don't know, I haven't been there yet, I also haven't been to Greenland, S parts of northern Russia, I assume northern Canada, but also stuff like Antarctica, and like the sandwich in the Falkland Islands, stuff like that. A very stuff that you don't usually go to in this game, because uh, there aren't a lot of roads, and where the places that there are roads, they're just so desolate. Let's get to it. So we're turning on moving, panning, and zooming. I'm allowed to do everything, but I'm only giving myself five minutes. Let's let's set that to four minutes because I don't want this to go on forever I could look for clues for a long time in this uh, in this map trust me challenge mode yes that's right I'm turning on challenge mode I don't know why I haven't done that before on my other videos well I guess the only other one I've made in, in English was the one where I played Battle Royale but here we go this is gonna give me a link that I can then copy and put in the description so if you want to play this game along with me or well before you watch me play it, then go to the description and this link will be there and you'll be able to play this exact set of locations before I do or before you watch me do it and we'll be able to compare scores once you're done. So I hope people do click on that. It would be fun. You do need to log in to uh, or to create an account like I have to, to play it, but you don't need to make it a pro membership. So let's start the game. You've had your chance to pause and play the, and play the game yourself. Let's do it on screen now. Hopefully I don't make a fool of myself. What is this? Well, Imiak. That sounds like Inuit, but tourist office, that don't sound like something you'd, you'd find on Greenland. This also doesn't look very Greenlandic. And then it says Discotheque Murphy's, uh, or something like that. Dis discotheque. Is that an English word? I guess it probably is. And what is this now? That's not Greenland, is it? This ice car tourist. This is interesting. I think we are on an island. Ooh. An island, well, okay, I was about to say, I think we're on an island in the north of Canada, but no, we're in Greenland. So now it's just a matter of figuring out. You know, now that I see all these colorful buildings behind me, I could have I told you it was Greenland, but this does not look like Greenland, except for, of course, Imiak. That does sound very Greenlandic. Let's have a look around, see if we can't figure out exactly where we are. Oh, no, this person who's carrying the, who's carrying the camera is really taking their sweet time. You know what? Greenland. Greenland Bank. Greenland is one of the few places that I really feel like I know in this map. Because I've played Greenland. That's part of Denmark. Ilulisat. Well, well, there you have it. I was about to say, I think this is Ilulisat. I think that right behind this red building is the harbor of Ilulisat. And yes, it does seem like it is. And just to make, just so it doesn't seem like I made this up, I know that in Ilulisat, there also is a, a, right up here somewhere, there is, well, let's see it on the map. There is a, a museum for Knud Rasmussen, who was an explorer around this place and around these parts. I know where Ilulisat is. That's all, that should also be an indicator that I actually know what I'm talking about here. Uh, so here's the Knud Rasmussen Museum. And right over here, we've got. The red building I was talking about, I believe that is the this is the red building. But where would then where would I have come from then? Let's go back. I think I could find this just based off of the 
compass and all the other stuff that I know. So I went down there. That's the red building. And I believe the harbor is behind there. So what did I find here? This would be... I guess we would be up here. Is, is this it? It doesn't quite seem like it. Um, there are some long buildings here and there aren't right here. So that's not where I was. There are some long buildings here. I will remember that. Youth Hostel. Well, Youth Hostel, is that where I am? What should I be looking for here? World of Greenland? That might be something I could find on the map. This map is not very accurate when it comes to Greenland. It's just a fact. That's, that's, that's Google's fault. Wait a minute. There we have those long buildings. There's the discotheque Murphy's. Right. We found the place. And with 40 seconds to spare. Nice. Um, yep. I mean, this is the place. Let's guess. Two meters. That's 5,000 points. And that is the correct or the perfect score. I forgot to mention, while we go to the next round, let me show you that I have this compass over here that I've been using. I don't think I even mentioned it in my last video. I'm not sure. Um, oh, yeah, I did. I did. Uh, so I've been using that. Just so you, just so I'm playing fair, just so you're playing fair, I have been using that. And that is a great tool for figuring out where you are. Okay, so no more Ilulisat. I have no idea where I am now. Thinking Russia. And I would be correct, it seems. Is that a hammer and sickle right there? <laughs> yes, it is. All right. So I'm in northern Russia somewhere. You know, that's a huge country. I could be anywhere within there. But maybe if I use some meta thinking, meta knowledge, or I don't know if that's like, if that is uh, expert knowledge, but there probably aren't a lot of parts of northern Russia that have street view, aren't there? Are there? I think there's street view around these parts. But I have no idea about these parts up here. Are there even towns? I guess there are a couple towns here. Oh, no, there, there are towns along these rivers and stuff like that. That's actually crazy. Okay, well, how, what could I do here to figure out where this place is? How could I narrow down Russia? I don't even speak Russian. Like, I'd have to be lucky and figure or find the name of the town on a, on a sign. And then I'd have to be lucky and find that town name on the map. But how would I even identify, how would I even know if I saw the town name? This seems like much more of a challenge than Ilulisat. All right. Well, here's a hint. It's a town that has, that has a railroad going through it. That's a huge hint. You know, I... I don't think there would be a railroad going through these northern parts up here, would there? Why would there be a railroad going all the way up here? Well, okay, even if there was, all I've got to look for is apparently these <laughs> these little patches in the in the map where there aren't any trees because the the town isn't even on there. Like the streets aren't on there. I can't look for that. I'm gonna have to hope that we're over here somewhere, and maybe we're on our way to Murmansk. Maybe we're in Murmansk. Maybe we're closer to the sea. Who knows? Let's see if we can find... Let's see if you can find a railroad. I think that is what we'll, we're going to have to be looking for. Let's follow it north from Murmansk. Perhaps up here. Perhaps. Let's... Wait, no. We, I thought we were going north. Where are we going? No. Oh, okay. Going all over the place. This is the best bet I've got so far. Actually, once I started, I was at kind of a gate, wasn't I? Let's see if this says maybe the name of the town. Who knows? Chawa Tsui. Oh, man. Okay, C Pi A B A. I'm going to have to look for that on the map. C Pi A B A. No, C A doesn't quite work. Chum doesn't also doesn't really work. Mm, 
what I mean, sometimes when I play this game, I just feel like I'm not going to find any of this. This real this does seem like I'm probably not going to find anything that looks like what I'm looking for right here. Let's Ooh. Ooh, no. No, I was never going to find this. Where Okay, I guess I guess the railroad was on the map. The roads weren't on the map, so we we could have found it, but there was no chance. If you got that one, I'm impressed. I like I'm really impressed. Kudos. All right, let's go let's go on to the next round. Hopefully get a place that is not in Russia. Ooh, this is this is interesting. Is this some kind of tundra? Before we find a sign, if we are even going to find a sign, where do we think this is in the world? Because that might be a challenge in itself, just finding the country here. Is this what northern... Are there places in northern Canada that look like, that look like this? Like islands? Islands that look like this? We're going straight south right now. I don't know if that's ever going to become relevant. Because right now it doesn't seem like I'm going to figure out. Even the even the country I'm not going to figure out. I need to also keep in mind that we could be on the southern hemisphere. Because even though this map is called Arctic Lands, it also includes Antarctic Lands. Is this going to be a hint of any, of any sort, of any kind? Probably not. You know, there are some birch trees here which <laughs> traditionally you'd associate with Finland or Sweden in this game. But I just feel like, well, I just feel like they're going to be more, there, there would be more trees or at least more rocks if we were actually in northern Finland or stuff like that. Although, although this, this I don't know, the more I look at it, the more I do feel like we're in northern Finland or something like that. Let's have a look. No, look at all these rocks. Look at look at all this. Like this is rocky terrain. You can, you can see all the lakes. Wow, well, this is really is the land of a thousand lakes. I don't think we're in maybe northern Sweden. Maybe we're like up here somewhere. But this is filled with this is forests. This is all forest, is it not? This is hard again. I'm gonna go around Kiruna. Um but I feel like I should be... So oh, what have I just found? Is this my savior of a town? Is this even a town? What What even is this? Is that a sign over there? What does that say? Ooh, okay. Akita Ikutak, Drilling Limited. Well, that... Oh, <laughs> and then including this pickup truck kind of solidifies that it's not northern Sweden, most probably Canada. So Canada is a huge place. So where would this be? Uh, I don't know what different cart parts of northern Canada Canada look like. Where, where would there be this flat? Akita Ikutak? I could look for that. I could if that's a place I could look for that. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume I'm buy one of these. I probably buy one of these towns, right? Arctic Bay. How far north would be included in this map? This is probably the lowest la latitude or or longitude. No, the lowest latitude that would be on there. So maybe we're further north. This Krisifjord, that's more rocky for sure. So what what are we looking for here? We gotta figure out what we're looking for. That no no roads on that one, so I can't really no roads on that one either. I can't use that. I can't use that for anything. This looks too rocky to be it. You know what? I'm feeling good about this guest down here. Also looks kind of rocky, doesn't it? Ah, oh, maybe I don't feel so good about it, but I don't know where else to put it. Baker Lake, I'm going to put it down there. And then I'm just going to let the time run out, and I was nowhere close. I should have gone way further towards Alaska. Mackenzie River. Wow, look at this place. Look at this barren landscape. L wow, it looks like a fractal. <laughs> That's crazy. But I was nowhere close. Again, this is good for you. You're getting lots and loads of chances to catch up on me. 
you know, hopefully you found a sign like I did in that round and figured out you're in northern Canada. Maybe you're just new. Maybe you're more advanced at this game than I am. Right now, I'm in a, an interesting spot, am I not? You know what I feel like? I feel like this is probably on the southern hemisphere. If I could see the sun, I might have been able to, I might have been able to, uh, to confirm that. Because famously, or at least this is famous geogesser knowledge, if the sun is in the northern hemisphere, you're in the southern hemisphere. Whoa, what just happened? The, the Bonner room. Okay, this, this could be good. This could be interesting. This could be useful. Not everybody's going to end up in here, I, I bet. So if I could just figure out, look at that. That's penguins. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm in the museum now. And I know I'm in the Southern Hemisphere for sure. Wait, that's not where I wanted to go. What? Okay, so these images are the wrong way around. What? What is going on? I just want to go inside. Can I not? Oh, no, I cannot. I don't seem to be able to go in there. Yes, I... Okay. I got somewhere new. Are these exhibits all in English? Wow, there's some seriously... Something seriously weird going on, either, either with the paint job they did in here or with the lighting. <laughs> I think the camera isn't oh, working too well with this. This is good. This. South Georgia? What is this? Okay, I'm going to look on the map for South Georgia on the Southern Hemisphere. Is this it? This is it. It's the Sandwich Islands. Okay, so where do I go? Uh, I need to go back outside. I need to find... I need Now I need... I've got two minutes and I need to find this little inlet here. It's south... West, southeast? All right, so we're pointing southeast... Where could this be? I mean, surely this little place would be on the map, right? This would be marked in some way. Is this? Is it just the one house? What even is this place? Why would people come here? All right, Husvik. I guess this could be it. It doesn't quite point in the right direction, but you know what? Since since these arrows on the ground seem to be... No, okay, they actually do seem to be right when I'm outside. I was about to say, maybe the compass doesn't even work. This does look like the right place, does it not? Husvik. This looks like it very well could be. There is a silhouette out here of, a, of another mountain, so that could be what this is. This could be the place. You know what? I'm going to put I'm going to put my marker right there and then I'm going to spend the last 40 seconds searching for a better spot to put it. But there doesn't seem to be any other place names on this entire island. There seems to just not be anything. Now, that's a short search, but Hertz Glacier. Well, is there a glacier up on this mountain? There doesn't seem to be. Maybe there's something behind there. It's too it's too foggy to tell. All right. So oh Grivikan. That's it. That's that's it. Oh, and I'm by the museum. With seven seven seconds left to go. Yep, no, this is where I am now. <laughs> okay, I've shifted. This is where I am. Seven meters. I got it. Boom! baby. <laughs> awesome. Sandwich Island. I'm so glad I found that map in there. If I hadn't found that map in there, uh, I don't know if I would have gone with the Sandwich Islands. Well, it was on my radar. I did. I didn't know it was down here. And I did see the painting with, or the picture of the penguins. I already was thinking Southern Hemisphere. Maybe I would have gotten it. Who knows? But uh, so lucky that I actually found this other place name. Seems to be the only other place name, th these couple buildings down here, along with Husvik. Also interesting. Interesting that these w place names sound so, or at least Goitviken and Husvik, they sound so Norwegian. Maybe they were found by Norwegians. Maybe they claimed this, the Sandwich Islands before, before they were claimed by England? 
I don't even know who owns them. All right, I'm going to take a short drink. I'm going to take a swig of my water, and then I'm going to return. Yeah, <laughs> my throat is getting sore. This is the fourth video I'm recording. I'm recording tonight. All right, let's go to the next round, round four, and see if I cannot get another one of these 5,000-point rounds. Wait, no, this is round five. And also, this seems like it's Greenland. This guy looks Greenland. And then there's, of course, the Royal Arctic Classic Greenland. And the, the colorful wooden houses, which is a staple of Greenland. So I am at a huge Greenlandic harbor, which might be... You know what? This might be Ilulisat again. Let's... Well, this, this hair sure looks like Ilulisat hair, does it not? This is that same person who I was writing. Okay, now that... I was, I was going back to see if that said the harbor. This is the same person who, who was taking me all around uh, Ilulisat on, on their bike before. Oh, they're not going any further. <laughs> I don't need to go any further. I know where I'm at. Ilulisat. All right. I'm in Ilulisat again. Well, I mean, everyone should get this one then. If they paid attention to where they were in the first round, what a nice bookend! <laughs> we start and end in the same in the same place. Well, so now the hard part is going to be figuring out exactly where I am. Irina, Antarctica. Ah, now this is the red building again. This is the one I was thinking about in the first round. I've been here. I've been. You know, it's actually it's both cool. But it's also a little bit a little bit disconcerting that I know Ilulisat this well. I've never been there and I'm never going to go there. All right. So this is the red building. It's not really red. I I now notice that it's actually just gray. But the important thing is I know exactly where I am. Let's go to Ilulisat. Ilulisat. <laughs> All right. Um so this is the place. Let's have a look. We've got the bu building here, and then it crops out or sticks out, and then this blue part pokes out. So I would be right about here, and this container is just right in front. Let's see. Yeah, no, it recesses back in here where the giant boiler is. So that would be this over here. So I think I am indeed right where I put my marker. I am not going to poke around the bush any longer. I'm going to guess. And it's 12 meters away from the correct location. I don't think I was quite there. I there might. I think there might be something wrong with the location of that pin. But I'm not going to... Well, I forgot the English word for this. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I, won't be, I won't be mad because uh, I got the 5,000 points. Which gives, with, it leaves me with quite a good score. Uh, so th <laughs> three out of five rounds, although two out of five rounds were Ilulisat, three out of five rounds were 5,000 points for me. And the other two rounds were not good at all. Like, not at all good. I did get the countries, though, so at least I've got that to be proud of. Well, happy with. Let's see if you guys do any better. Because uh, I feel like I've got my 5,000 points on the rounds where it was definitely possible. On the other rounds... Let's see if you at least got closer than I did, because there is sure room for improvement on those two. I'll be looking forward to seeing if anyone watches and plays this, uh, this game with me. And uh, until next time, have a nice day. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, that's great. Bye-bye. Play GeoGuessr.